Welcome everyone. Second meeting of the month. November 18th. We are <coughs> partially full of trustees. We're a short one, but we do have a fire chief with us and road administrator, fiscal officer, and uh, members of the audience. Welcome everyone. Sound good. <laughs> Entertain a motion to adopt the minutes of the meetings for November 4th. I so move. A motion. I'll make that a second for that. Is there any further discussion regarding those minutes? <coughs> Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Now we entertain a motion for the adoption of minutes of a uh, special meeting November 11th, 2019. Uh, I move adoption of those minutes. I have a motion. I'll make a second. Uh, any further discussion regarding those minutes? Hearing that, may we vote please. Mr. Mutcher? Yes. Mr. Hollister? Yes. And now we entertain a motion to approve payment bills in the amount of $363,811.12. It's a record. Yeah. Yes, this wow. must be a record for the last million years. Yes, exactly. Uh, I hold on. Broken down general fund $2,127.70, fire fund $19,107.94, cemetery fund $830.30, EMS building $7,508.04, urban bridge $5,000, excuse me, $3,593.17, uh, and Cromwell Capital Project $330,646.97. Yeah. And two more, <laughs> no, two more zeros. zeros. <laughs> <laughs> no partial sense. <laughs> which I move which adoption, <laughs> which could be uh, of the motion appropriate for us. I, 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 resolution to approve payment of these bills. Well, it's a motion, not a resolution. But, but it yeah. should be a resolution, but it's not. It I move be. adoption. Okay, I'll second for approval of. Any further discussion? Yes. Uh, just to comment okay, go. that now we're finally paying for the firehouse big time and it's oh, rolling for it. Uh, $330,000. Well, actually, it's, technically we're, we're borrowing it right now. <laughs> we will be paying for it for the next 30 years. But I know what you're saying. Yes. Uh, paying. We're paying for it, although we have borrowed. Uh, and there'll be other discussion later in the meeting, but I'm happy and excited. Happy and excited. <coughs> that's the good thing there. Okay. But I've got a dollar eighty-three for you, if that's uh, what you're gonna bring up. No, I'm gonna bring it. I'm gonna bring, I'm gonna bring, tax. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it bring us down here. We have oh. a book from Office Depot, of course. It has Ohio State tax on it, so it has Ohio County tax on it. And by my reading, that's 43 cents. What's oh, this, yeah, there's another one. What's this have to do with this motion? It's part of the payment of the bills. Yeah, there's another. It's, it's an addition to what's already making an amendment? <clears throat> no, but this will take 43 cents off of, off of five. Minus 43. <laughs> so the, the actual total bill, of course, it'll take 43 cents off the entire bill. It will at, at some point when this is all reconciled. Yeah, I believe there's a little bit more too. I caught today, and then there's the twenty-two dollars from Survey Monkey that they're. Gonna, are you they're credit that one? Are you making that. some legal complication here? Do you want to amend the, <laughs> my motion? No. Uh, hearing no further discussion, here we go, please. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. <clears throat> Correspondence for the period. Let's see, we have the uh, invitation for a planning session for the old firehouse oh. uh, that happened on the hmm. How did it happen? last Tuesday. Yeah, I think it was last Tuesday. And we had a nice hour long um, discussion about potential of uses and financing. The Yellow Springs Development Corporation. This was the, the Yellow Springs Development Corporation. This is a subcommittee of the corporation, 
subcommittee was uh, Josue Salomaron, Sal, 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 I gotta get that right, Roger Reynolds, Reynolds, I can't pronounce it, myself, Karen Wintrow, um, Gina Marie Cox, and Yields. Yeah. Yes, yeah. You may. We have an invitation for an annual dinner, or excuse me, an annual Christmas party for uh, uh, Ray Hensley. This would be December 6th. Good. Okay. The 6th? The 6th. We have a, a communication from our zoning inspector. I think we'll take that up under zoning, because it has to do with zoning. Uh, we have a uh, email from Jason Funberg, our uh, construction manager for the project, and it's uh, got to do with the temporary electric that was installed on the site today. And there's also a, uh, a permanent temporary. There's a temporary county uh, installation, and then there's a temporary village installation, and I don't know which is which. Sorry. Uh, we have a message from Ryan Springer, the USDA, who is approving a change order that has to do with uh, foundation work uh, to, to allow for a conduit to go through it uh, from Marshall Street to the IT room inside the building. Uh, this is for cable TV and fiber optics and I think that's all. It's not like it. it's not like it. uh, We have a uh, director's report from uh, NBRPC. It's a monthly. Follows our meetings. Um, we have a email from a concerned cemetery user that has been uh, replied to. She's had her uh, grave marker moved to the location that it's supposed to be. Um, a email out to uh, Rick Perales concerning uh, a tax issue that we're probably going to discuss in Firehouse before. So. Um, we had a notification from Green County uh, Building Department uh, for a approval for a fire for a, a foundation and footer installation of the new firehouse. We'll discuss also in the new RS report a letter or an email, no, not an email, report from the school. Report from the schools. Big report. Uh, frontline employee wellness productivity. I think we already talked about this, but it's a good one, so then we'll see, see it again. Um, a message from Anthem about the new SOCA policy that we are going to be um, uh, adopting. And it's kind of interesting, and I'm not sure where it has something to do with Medicare eligible members. Now, we're not members. I mean, let's say Don and I are not members, or Mark, but we're Medicare eligible. Does that, or does that mean if we are members of the organization that's being offered, that's us, could we take advantage of this? Um, I think it says you're eligible. You're eligible. I mean, that's why. But it doesn't say anything about how much it costs or, or what's included or anything. Well, from our presentation last month, I assumed that that did not apply to us. That it was just talking about the uh, firefighters and the you know, people. I think that a little rainy day with that. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, we also have uh, a correspondence from Otarma offering faithful performance of duty coverage in um, instead of uh, traditional bond coverage. Uh, it's kind of, sort of, kind of, sort of, sort of, kind of the same thing. Biggest difference is bonds make you personally financially responsible for whatever misdeeds you have uh, undertaken and, and, and are being charged with uh, to get your bond to fire up. And this, with this painful performance, you're not personally responsible. Um, Otarma's personally, Otarma's responsible for your actions. 
or inactions or misappropriations or whatever you're getting charged with. So, sounds good. Mm -hmm. uh, it was as a result of a house a house bill. Uh -huh. It just went into effect uh, earlier this year. March. Yeah. So it must it must um, why would Otarma mm -hmm. you know be willing to take on that's a lot of no, it's a statewide thing so. Yeah. <laughs> One caveat, it is only applicable to newly elected officials. Yes, <laughs> we know. <laughs> so, uh, you, and, you and Mark would not be um, eligible to participate for at this time. At this time. Not until time. But, terms up. Uh, I'm going to make a motion that Miami Township avail itself of the um, service or the the option to um, put you and I, I, I guess, under faithful performance of duty coverage. Um, It'll be a resolution number 2019-47. I don't have any reason to oppose this, but is there any hurry? Because I don't, I haven't read this. I don't know what it's talking about. Um, no, I, I, in the sorry. spirit of due diligence, would it be reasonable to I vote on this next time? Sure. I, I thought maybe you had seen it this afternoon. You were in where it said. Margaret showed it to me. I looked at it. I haven't read it. I see. Well, if you'd like to study that, we'll put that on the back burner till perhaps the next meeting. Yep. Um, it, yes and no. It needs to be. It needs to be done by the first of the year. I don't know if it needs to be enforced by the first of the year. And I have a feeling it does. Now, Margaret's doesn't, but mine would be. Um, but I would guess it would be a relatively quick application process. You know, it's just a matter of, there's, a, there's like a one sheet uh, at best in there. And mm -hmm. then you go back and go fax it in, and you're, you're ready to roll. OK, that's all the um, correspondence I had. If there's any other correspondence this uh, period, I'd like to know. Oh, fund yeah. status, revenue status, corporation status, also. Here we go. Let's move to the fire department report. Chief <clears throat> that, that would be me. Alrighty. Well, since the last meeting, from the our handy dandy memo of. Uh, well, stuff. it was in progress, and then sometimes I get hit by a car on those bicycles, so. No. Yeah. That's what I said. Part of least I did. Um, so I'm just looking at my quick little notes here. So since the last meeting, we've had 19 fire incidents, three of which were in Bath Township, <coughs> and 30 EMS incidents, also three of which were in Bath Township. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, we've done six fire safety inspections. Um, so we had, um, last Thursday, we had a dog fall through the ice at Ellis Pond. Uh -oh. Uh, which we were able to rescue, which was what, very good. He's reunited with his owner and happy. Um, How did you do that? Did you guys put big waiter, waiters on or what? Well, no. Well, this is a good segue. You're, um, yes, you're leading in. We're leading into what I need to tell you. Uh, so we were able to rescue the dog, but um, it was kind of clunky because we don't have the proper equipment for, for ice rescue. Uh, so because of this, local resident Lauren Miller has decided to spearhead a fundraising effort for us to be able to buy some uh, cold water suits and other needed equipment. Basically one cold water suit, right? Um, we'll see how much money she can raise. Um, we would like to buy a couple. You, know, you always want to have these two people in. Yeah. Um, that's not just for animals, obviously. It's also for humans, but animals are a better hook. We don't know animals, but we love people. Uh, but uh, so we're looking at purchasing. Yeah, you know, the purchase made has got some pricing, and we're purchasing a, a couple of suits and uh, some new flotation devices and stuff. But we'll see. Uh, she kickstarted with two hundred and fifty dollars, and I know we've got another donation in the mail. So we've got to put a social media post up, and Lauren's done a letter to the newspaper about it. And, uh, so we'll see. Hopefully, all the pet and human lovers out there will uh, jump in. So one suit would cost how much? Uh, depending on the size, it's between five hundred and fifty and six hundred and fifty dollars for a suit. So two suits were talking three thousand maybe. Or up to yeah, I mean we're we're hoping to get 
you know, hopefully we can raise between two thousand and twenty-five hundred dollars, and that would get us the equipment we need and uh, the suits we need and a couple of pieces of equipment to go with that. So, and as you know, as the world works, I mean, I, I went my entire career without having an ice rescue until this year, where we've done two. Oh, oh yeah, and then, there was one just a yeah. while ago. So then we may never do another one again, but at least we'll be ready. So, mm -hmm. um, and uh, so big thanks to Lauren, who's really pushing us and, and spearheading us. So we appreciate that. Do you know of other departments in the area that that have that such equipment? Zinga Township has that. So those who uh, Captain Ayers worked with to figure out what what we need. Mm -hmm. uh, we actually had them responding the other day to assist before we were able to get the dog out ourselves. Mm -hmm. um, and the downside is that it takes time to get other people here. With some, you know, for a dog, it was a Labrador Retriever, so at least it was the right. If you got to have a dog that has to go in the water, mm -hmm. it's the right dog. You know, mm -hmm. the water dog is. And uh, unlike the one earlier this year, it was like a Schnauzer or something. But um, but yeah, it takes time to get them. So if it's a person or a child, it's going to take a while. So the better we can we can get going on that, uh, the better. So that's right. It wouldn't necessarily be a pet. It could be. Right. Person. It could be a person. <laughs> more than likely a person. Uh, one, person one of the guys. Try and go and get the dog. Yeah. You could have that. Mm -hmm. uh, one of the guys said, well, I'm happy to rescue a dog, but I don't know if I'd rescue a cat. And I said, well, my experience is cats are too smart to go out of the ice. <laughs> cats going to be like, whoa, what are you? That's cold. Exactly. Yeah. So anyway, uh, thanks to Lauren. People can um, donate directly to the, through the Firefighters Association by sending a check or, mail, or uh, dropping it off. And uh, once our Facebook post is up, they can also go to the Firefighters Association website Securely, <coughs> with a credit card or a PayPal account. So. Bitcoin? Uh, I have to check with Jeremy. But knowing Jeremy, possibly. Um, <laughs> um, we are going to, uh, years ago, okay. so many years ago, Dan and I could not remember how long ago, so maybe you'll remember, but I know you were on the board. Um, we used to mail a survey to patients oh, yeah. that we had. Yeah. Sure. Um, and we stopped doing it after a while because we've done like for three or four years and everyone was, was happy. happy. Which was nice. Yeah. But uh, so we're thinking we want to, we're gonna start it again um, in the more modern versions. So instead of mailing things, uh, we use SurveyMonkey because we can keep the survey open mm -hmm. forever in there. And people can um, be honest. Yes, exactly. <laughs> there's no postmark, they don't know. Uh, handwriting. <laughs> um, and uh, so I think we're gonna make up some cards that the guys can give patients. Mm -hmm. um, QR code they could scan if they're that savvy, or at least the web address that they can go on to our uh, our survey. And, uh, just it's been a while, so it'll be interesting to see what, mm -hmm. yeah. what people say. Hopefully, sure. they're still happy. Yeah. But, you know. um, and then last but not least, we can go holiday parties. It's time for the holiday party. So next for y'all, Saturday, Sunday, Sunday, <laughs> Sunday, December eighth. At the Mills Park Hotel. Um, so come one, come all, and just be sure to RSVP by November 12th. Mm -hmm. Celine will be there? Celine Dion's going to be there. Okay, great. Same with Casey and Cassidy. Those are backups, so. Uh, good times for me to have And that's, that's it. That's it. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Then. Um, <laughs> any leads on oil, water separator, inspector, cleaner types? Um, probably, but mm -hmm. I completely forgot that. And then I emailed Johnny today when I was thinking of things that Chris was going to ask me. <laughs> I was like, oh, they want a water separator. So I, I emailed him and should be right back because he's usually Johnny on the spot. So. Are you getting that name? <laughs> okay. Do you have anything for Mr. Uh, uh, Mr. Chief? Where, where on the agenda would uh, the fire levy show up? Right there. Okay. <laughs> What's next on our renewal of the existing <coughs> fire levy? Well, I think you should. I think you should ask it. We just received today the certificate of estimated certificate of estimated property tax revenue from the auditor, which was a requirement after submission of our resolution of necessity, which we passed November 4th, which was the last meeting. So that has been taken care of. So step one was the resolution of necessity. Step two was the receipt of the certificate of 
estimated property tax return. Step three is the res resolution to proceed of the taxing authority. That would be us. <coughs> Step four would be, I don't think I printed it out yet, but we have it. Step four would be the submission of all those items plus the official ballot language that has been prepared by the Green County Prosecutor's Office and approved by everybody who needs to approve it. And we bundle it all up and send it to um, the Board of Elections. And then Board of Elections does their magic. And at some point before the uh, deadline, uh, certifies that we are on the ballot in uh, March. And the deadline is December 18? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Whatever it is, 90 gonna, days before. Whatever it is, we're going we're gonna to be so before. So, what can we do tonight? We, uh, I'm going to uh, offer this resolution to proceed, and <coughs> hopefully we will pass that. Okay. All right. I have, uh, I will make a motion to uh, approve the uh, following resolution to proceed of the taxing authority. It doesn't have a place for a resolution for a for a resolution number, so I don't know. Well, we can still do that. I guess so, sure. But it basically reads, Board of Trustees of Miami Township met in regular session on November 18, 2019 at the office of Miami Township with the following members present. Uh, that would be uh, myself and uh, Mr. Holliser. Um, I made the motion to adopt uh, the following resolution. It reads, whereas the amount of taxes which may be raised within the 10 mil limitation will be insufficient to provide an adequate amount of for the necessary requirement of said uh, Miami Township, Green County. Therefore, be it resolved by the Board of Trustees in Miami Township, uh, two-thirds of all members elected thereto concurring, that the necessary, that is necessary to levy a tax in excess of the 10 mil limitation for the benefit of Miami Township for the purpose of continued operation, maintenance, and equipment purchase for Miami Township Fire Rescue Departments at a rate not exceeding 3.8 mils for each dollar of valuation, which uh, amounts to 38 cents uh, for each $100 of valuation for a period of five years commencing and appearing on the tax list for the years so specified 2020 through 2024. Said levy is a renewal of an existing levy of 3.8 mils. It is resolved that said levy be placed upon the tax list of the current year after the February settlement next succeeding the election if the majority of electors, electors voting thereupon vote in favor of, therefore and be it further resolved that the clerk or fiscal officer of Miami Township uh, be and is uh, hereby directed to certify a copy of this resolution to the Board of Elections of Greene County, Ohio and uh, notify said Board of Elections to cause notice of election on the question of levying such <laughs> said tax to be given as required by law. Uh, is there a second to this motion? Yes, please. I second. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hollis, to second the motion and the roll call uh, is being called upon its adoption. The vote results as as follows. You're calling the roll. Mr. Hollister. Yes. Mr. Mutcher. Yes. Having received the two thirds majority, the resolution was adopted on uh, uh, November 18th, 2019, and will <laughs> really will require the signature of uh, the auditor, the clerk, and the fiscal officer. And it's all the same people of Miami Township. Yes, they are. That's you. I'm not the auditor. You are now. You are now. <laughs> no, maybe it's not the auditor of the county? No, nope. it's only for the political subdivision of Miami Township of Green County, Ohio. Well, I'm not getting paid title. enough then. <laughs> <coughs> now, I've got, I, I didn't. Oh, I, I see, to, yeah. It's I not like one of the others where they are here. Yeah, I forgot to make a blank it's copy, but would you, I know, but would you, um, would you fill that out in pretty? Yeah. Uh, can you print a cup, clean copy of this? Yes. Okay, yes, that'd be great. I can make it much prettier. Okay. okay, thank you. <laughs> so we passed it. We did. I'd still like to make some comments. Be my guest. The four is. Well, and my understanding is as a renewal levy, uh -huh. we will maintain the, uh, the sort of grandfathered. Uh, what, what is it when you're when you're 65 years or older? There's a 15 percent. Oh, uh, um, the state covers 15 percent. Home home rollback. Roll. Yeah, the rollback. Both homeowner but also senior. 
I yeah. think Soltos will continue to apply. Whereas if it was right. if it was an other than a renewal, uh, that would drop away. Right. Correct. Uh, so that's important. So the state covers fifteen percent of what if you're over sixty five and you own a home, mm -hmm. would you be paying? You get fifteen percent back from the state or something like that? No, the you individual is not. You don't pay. The state gives through the county will pay that. Oh, is that what that money is? That where that comes from? And, and your property. Yeah, there's homestead and rollback money. I, it's I, it's yeah, homestead and senior. Senior. Yeah, homestead and senior. Uh, the, the, the state directs the county to reduce the value of your property to the extent to cover that 15%. Hmm. The other thing mm -hmm. is, I remember the late Al Denman, who had a law degree, devoted himself to clearer legal language. And this, <laughs> this form was archaic. <laughs> Well, if you, if you know anybody who's on the Board of Elections currently, or perhaps I know ever had been on the Board of Elections in the past, you might take it up with them about uh, asking the more, state more legislature the, to uh, more like, or clarify the, Or the Secretary of State's office. Yeah. And, and actually, Frank LaRose would probably jump on that. All right. Uh, good idea. I will talk to him. Okay. I think we can also say because it's a renewal, no new taxes, right? That's true. No, no, no new, new taxes. taxes. No new taxes. <laughs> but it's continuing. Yeah. Existing taxes. Yeah. If, if it gets new. passed. If it gets if it's passed, it passes. Yeah. But not new, which is good. It would generate um, calculated to be $579,000 per year at that much. And this? Which is helps. slightly higher than now because, you know, the tax valuation goes up. Yeah. Yeah. And that, but that, is a significant part of the budget of ambulance and fire service. Major part. And I think we can also say of our similar sized and uh, departments in the county, we are the best. Part. And how do we? I'd like to believe that, but uh, in terms of overall budget and tax burden, okay, compared to Sugar Creek and. Our budgets, what Chris just said, plus EMS billing, and contract fees, mm -hmm. which is still around eight hundred thousand or so. I'd say. The intention of seat and sure if we get both over a million dollars. Sure, it's almost two. So. Anyway, this is a big, a big deal for our little. Um, it's critical. Completely uh, critical. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, briefly, speaking of taxes, I just wanted to let you know that uh, we are in the process of uh, ho hopefully having the uh, 63 plus thousand dollar tax uh, delinquency bill, well, lack of a better word, uh, that was uh, rolled over to good old Miami Township uh, and unexpectedly, so. Uh, Hopefully, it will go away uh, sometime in the near future. That's really all I want to say about it at the moment. Should we elaborate on that or not? I, 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 I just assume not because okay. it's a little closer to. I don't want to get my hopes up. <laughs> um, okay, anything further for the uh, fire department report? Uh, anything on the new firehouse? Foundations, yay, footers and foundations have started. Yay. Half the building now has a footer. The other half will have it tomorrow. <clears throat> that is nice. I better get over there first thing in the morning, take a picture of yeah. how it was at the end of today. Uh, I've been trying to, you, you may have been also, but I've been trying to take too many pictures. So you can edit it down and have like a scrapbook of yeah, that's good. bare ground to mm -hmm. building. And in addition to footers and foundations, as they go along, they're also, um, and I'm not sure, uh, unfortunately I don't know the rhyme or reason why they're putting in certain drainage pipes before they put in something else, but there are catch basins that are there with some drainage pipes and then there's more to 
go in. And I do know that the dry well uh, or the detention pond is going to be finished sooner than later because they want it to, uh, to drain the property uh, through, the, through the winter. Yeah, and neighbors have expressed concern. Should be no problem. And uh, after that, we've got uh, steel that will be steel trusses, steel um, wall units that will be uh, coming in the first part of January. Um, there's uh, what are those called? The, the cement walls for the tornado shelter. It's called it's independent. Anyway, those are going to be built up um, um, in December. Also, uh, the slab should be poured in the office like fortress. It will be. The slab should be poured in um, in December on the office side. Uh, the uh, apparatus based slab won't be poured till late. Usually, for some reason, well, I guess I understand the reason because they don't want that slab to have much heavy equipment on it or they don't want to risk any cracking or anything because it, it's so substantial they don't want to tear any of that out. Uh, but they don't pour it until maybe August of next year. Weird. But I guess they haven't got anything else to put in there, really. Yeah. I mean, they've got that one wall, but that can't take that long to put up. But I mean, they can to put everything else in yeah. except for the floor. Um, so all of those things are being approved and, uh, and, and put on order now. I uh, don't really think, do you, do you recall anything they said was a longer delay than normal at the last meeting? No. Okay. I think it's pretty much everything's on normal. We are on schedule, although we are on schedule only as of today. We were a, a, week, or, a week or ten days ahead of schedule, but basically we sat there idle, or it sat there idle for a week or ten days because Green County could not get a permit um, approved through their system any faster than last Friday. So, but we did receive it last Friday, so we're good to go on that. And, um, and the other parts of the of the permitting process are uh, being reviewed, but nothing that will slow us down uh, until quite a ways, quite a ways out. So that's that's pretty much it. Unless there's something else that you have. Oh, yeah, there's one other thing. Uh, this is another one that's in the middle of. The stuff's not here, but as you recall, the building, which used to be cement planks, right. is now going to be brick uh, with you know, mortar joints and, and all. And then the then there's a band around the, the base of the building and, and columns in the front and back around between the apparatus bay doors. And those, at the time we uh, originally designed the building, spec'd it out, were to be basically 12 by 12 pieces of uh, um, artificial limestone. Um, I forget the thickness, but they're, I think they're full three and, three and an eighth, eighth inch thick. And, uh, Nice light limestone, look cementy, and um, we valued in, we were in a value engineering meeting at some time over the past, and decided to cut those back to save uh, around fifteen thousand dollars from the from the twelve by twelve cut stone uh, block to back to utility brick again, same as in the building, different color but basically exactly the same wire cut utility brick stacked up along the base and up in these columns. Uh, so we have that, we asked our architects to uh, try and uh, find some utility brick that were of a pleasing color that would, uh, would look similar to the rendition that, that the public has seen and that we've all grown to love uh, over the years. <laughs> um, and uh, and in, in my mind anyway, I saw those I saw those columns and that and that band to be kind of the color of a cement sidewalk, you know, 
somewhere in that, that neighborhood, a, a, a light, pleasing gray. And there's just been nothing that anybody's found that's anywhere near that color. It's either close to white with a little bit of yellow tinge on it, or it gets into about the color of my pants, khaki, everything khaki. Uh, it's either red, <laughs> orange, or khaki. And so anyway, I spent the morning at uh, Bryce Hill uh, Brickyard in Springfield. And uh, to make a long story short, there's a company that was recommended to me in uh, a quarry that was recommended to me in Indiana that quarries limestone and provides limestone blocks similar to what we are. But instead of having to import it from Canada and pay substantial transportation charges in addition to a, uh, a more expensive product uh, charge, which is what we respect. The, we respect the Canadian limestone cut block. Um, and so the guy says, that stuff's expensive. But there's this place in, you know, in Indiana that would get it less. It's more expensive than brick. It would require a change order. It would require a certain um, additional amount of money. But instead of it being what was told to me to be about $15,000 more for that Canadian cut brick, if it's substantially less, then it would be substantially less than an additional $15,000. And you know, I, haven't, I haven't seen the sample. Uh, well, I, I've seen it on a building. The, the old Springfield High School has, has, has a new addition on it that they use this block. Uh, the Springfield South? The Springfield South, yeah. And uh, went to visit that this afternoon, and frankly, it's exactly what I would have envisioned for for, oh, really? for our use. The same color, the same nice big block. Uh, you can get it in different sizes, but they're using they were using big big blocks. So uh, I have asked um, uh, Jason Thunderbird to get with his supplier at Bryce uh, Hill, and he already has today, and talked about this, and they're going to get uh, a quote for price and specification and whether it's uh, an approved product from the architect or do we want to get it on the approved list or you know all of those things and the, the nice thing about it is it doesn't have the traditional six to eight week uh, lead time for ordering because it's a quarry and it's not that far away um, we could get it relatively soon and as you recall from the discussions we need this block before the other Brick because it goes along the bottom, right. and then it gets graded in and sealed. And all that stuff. So, hopefully, I have my fingers crossed that you know that'll come in at a at a rate where you know we can uh, decide that it's it's worth it to us to spend a, a little of the contingency money, the same way we did for the limestone uh, gravel to, to go into the base, uh, so that they can continue to work. So, maybe. You know, if not, there might be some other options, but I, it's just, the you know, brick just wasn't getting it for me. Um, colors weren't. The colors weren't right, and then you've got, you've got all these horizontal bricks, you know, that are on the same pattern as is on the building, and that just doesn't seem to be that big of a, of a change. Yeah, you know, no, in I, the look. I think it's great if, if this works. Yeah, so. Hey, we can go to Indiana and pick it up. Yeah. Right. Come on, man. Let's do it. That's right, road trip. Why not? Uh, semi -truck. And a little weight. And a little weight. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. doesn't have a semi truck. Um, we know people that do though. Yeah, yeah. We'll pump that. We'll pump that corn out of there. <coughs> oh yeah. Well, all right. So, anything else for the new firehouse? Uh, that killed a good ten minutes. Here is right. Hey, <laughs> Sanitary Road, Sexton, Go Canal. Right. Enlightenment, please. Okay. Please. Since the last meeting, we've had three burials. We had a full burial in Clifton, and ashes here in Glen Forest, and one in Grinnell Cemetery, which is kind of unusual. And uh, I will be getting those burial permits and burial information forthwith. Sure. Okay. I don't have well, one for here, but one we, ashes we, and we talked about that. Mm -hmm. One ashes and where? And then Glen Forest. Glen Forest. And then there was one at the full and quick. Full and quick. Mm -hmm. uh, and we've got one coming on the 29th. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I find out where it goes. I will. Mm -hmm. Brandon will take care of it. I'll be out there. Okay. Uh, don't try to quit base Thursday. It's not really too bad. But anyway.
and that's the last one for the year. I'm not pouring any more. All right? Okay. Just like hey, I put I'll do that on a weekend. I'll just use the water wagon there. I'll need the water wagon. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anyway, I'll, I'll take care of that. So, but other than that, yeah, we're done. And there's no, we're gonna. I'm gonna write something up and give them to all the money that companies about when we get our orders and what gets done. Mm -hmm. Good. Because none of this last minute calling in. You know, I think I think March 31st. April 15th, the cutoff, anything after that goes on fall. Because mm -hmm. it, it, it's been a trend this year to call and say, well, we sent you an order. Mm -hmm. Not happily. Mm -hmm. I think we need to re resolve that. Yeah, they ought to send, they ought to argue, send their orders registered. So you have to sign them. Well, if, if I don't have it by said date in the spring or said date in the summer, which is probably going to be Labor Day, it won't get in until the fall and four. I know, but if they say they sent you an order, yeah, you know, but if they've got a receipt that you signed and said you received it, then they've got a, a, you know, a case. But and we've had trouble with pouring here at Glen Forest for dogs, mm -hmm. so we're going to do it from now on. Mm -hmm. I mean, take my forward because he's not. I'm not happy with him. I mean, a brand new base that leans. <coughs> yeah, good. that's a good. And I had to pour what two or three that were supposedly been poured. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a hold of them and tell them. Mm -hmm. Just how we're gonna do it for me. I see the etchings were finally put on. Yeah, I was just gonna say that. And um, I think there's some more to go on there. Were there, were there four put on? Because I think they just, they charged us for four. Yeah, well, they, they let. It's got the well, one, part, one man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but I think I there was four. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, but I, are there more yet? I, I'd have to go out and see what's on there. But well, I know it was Sykes and. Reader got on there, I believe. Mm -hmm. I think that was one. Of, those were the two in question. Mm -hmm. They were not happy. And so I want to talk to them about that too, about more time and manner to get these things going. Or we, we'll look at another option. Maybe find somebody else to do it. I don't know. In a year and a half is a long time. You wait and get your name on. Yeah, I know. You don't just pick up the phone and hey, I call me Graver. Well, I know a couple we could call, you know, if, were, if we had to go that route. Yeah. I think we'll talk to the Dodds and see what they can mm -hmm. fix this issue. Mm -hmm. So anyway, I'll, I'll work on it. Something yeah. like that. Uh, I started clearing a little bit in your white oak grove. Is that what it's called? What's, what do you call it? White oak grove? Natural berry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I guess it's white oak. I think that's what I've been calling it. Yeah, you decide. <laughs> so I kind of went back and checked things out the other day. Uh-huh. Uh, I'll get her done one of these days. Mm -hmm. Is it not really pressing, but it'd be nice this time of year. Mm -hmm. go back and do some stuff. Mm -hmm. So as I can, I'll okay. Okay. Think of anything else for today? Mm -hmm. Did you have a chance to at least consider what piece of equipment you might want to replace? I think the cemetery one. You think? Mm -hmm. When's the best time of year to do that? When, when's the best get deals and that sort of thing? Mine might be now. You think? Yeah. I'm going to find out who's sales in that year. Who they can come up with. Mm -hmm. Sure, price would be more than the last one. But yeah. Pretty good idea of where it's going to come in. Hopefully. Mm -hmm. But I think that'd be the one we replace. Tell them you got a nice used use one in the garage too. Oh okay. really? You get a try to get something out of that. A two for one deal. We'll see what we can do. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And how about a big old compressor too? Maybe they could use one of those <laughs> in their shop. <laughs> <laughs> and a couple of engines. <laughs> what the Does heck? Does our state contract have motors? Yeah, we'll get it through. State contract. Oh. Is it, is it Compton? I can't remember. Is that the name? No. No, it's uh, what is John Deere? What's called now Agpro. Two of us. That's all the one around here besides Caney. Mm -hmm. You know, see what they are. If it's too high, I'll see what Caney. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Road department. Tires on one truck. 
Should have the others in this weekend. They weren't in today, but he said he called them. He figured maybe about Wednesday. Maybe down and dropped off. It felt like them. They're smooth. New tires? Yeah, new tires. They're smooth. They're round. They're round. <laughs> they don't make a lot of noise. Thank God. I, I, I still want to. I still want to figure out how those driving tires work. In yeah, I, I don't get that. In compromising material. They're smooth. Yeah. I, it's, so it's like racing slicks but, that got great big grooves in them. They're steering what? tires. I mean, even when we got the truck, the front tires were different than the rear, and it's four wheel drive. They say it, it cups the tires. Too bad if you run the same. Different type four wheel drive suspension. Mm -hmm. We'll try them. That's the cheapest price I can get on any tire. I, I don't. I don't care about cheap. I want good, safe well, tires that steer. I mean, you know, you put three tons of salt in the back of that, and that front end is just floats mm -hmm. down the road. Down there at the end. <laughs> turn this way. Turn it this way. Go just keep going point. straight, or it's whoever really wants to. Wow. I went down the hard work to go. That's how we used them. So that's who we're. A new tire person is. Uh, I'm going to burn the pit tomorrow, Chief. Okay. Must be kind of grizzly, but that'd be fine. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll say it's okay. That's good with me. And last but not least, mm -hmm. I'm going to take next week off. <laughs> I'd like to. Can I have next week off? <laughs> Unless, it Three days, Unless it snows. Unless it snows. I got a man to take care of it. Next week. Uh, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Is, is that Thanksgiving week? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I have no problem with I think I'm at a point where I. Where's my list? I can write back on it. I can't pick her up. As long as, you know, as long as. Um, I mean, if anything came up on Brandon it. is somewhat around. You know? Oh, yeah, he'll be around. How do, you, how do you do that with him and his work schedule for um, Bath? I mean, do you know ahead of time? They call. He'll call. Michael call and say, hey, can I, you know, you need Brandon, can I have him? Tell me what to do. So it's kind of just on a day-to-day -day -day basis? Just kind of as needed. Mm -hmm. If they got something coming up, he'll, he'll say, can I have Brandon next week or whatever. Mm -hmm. If it didn't, pull him away for anything we've got yet. It's been working out. Right. Okay. Like, he don't call me up and say, hey, I need Brandon. Today, mm -hmm. that me a little leeway. Mm -hmm. But I pretty much I kind of know what you know, where they're going, what they got coming up, so we can expect it. Mm -hmm. him out. Mm -hmm. Well, lend him out, and he works for them too. Right. <laughs> it works out. Right. I guess it. Okay. Anything for? Uh, I don't have anything. Administrator? Oh, you want to try the fire truck this week? Yeah. Anchor? Just like that. Right. Maybe Wednesday. Sounds good. Yeah, I actually got more than Wednesday. Okay. Perfect. All right. We'll go to Fiscal Office and report. I hope. Can you have a report? Resolution to adopt. It's a long one, too. But they didn't read it. Resolution 29-46, 2019-46. Aware is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to needs of township. Now, therefore, the trustees authorize amendments to the following permanent appropriations. The Glen Forest Cemetery increased advertising by $130. Fire fund, we increased operating supplies by $5,000. Shazam! Well, I didn't know how much it was going to take to get you through the end of the year, so okay. I just... Okay. Uh, increased training services by $75, the telephone by $600, and employee reimbursement by $470. And EMS billing, I increased training services by $700. And in the capital fund, increased contingencies by the exact amount that was given to me by the USDA, which is $318,514.95. Those are motion. I move adoption of resolution 2019-46. I'll second that. Any further discussion regarding resolution 2019-46? Hearing none, may we vote please. Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Meacher? Yes. So uh, 
what is the resolution number for the earlier resolution about the... Heavy 47. About the tax yeah. levy. Uh-huh. 47. That's what I wrote down here, so... Mm -hmm. That comes after 46. Mm -hmm. Directly. Oh, I don't know. Well, over our eyes. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> I got it Tell tight. You I got it tight. <laughs> um, I don't really have anything else. I don't think. Uh, zoning inspector. He's probably still out at the new firehouse. That's gone around. Yep. Making foundation ties. Usually just the first meeting of the month. Although I do have a, a correspondence from Inspector yes. General Ruff. Um, might as well might as well read it, it's kind of easier to explain it. <coughs> it's regarding uh, Agrary's composting uh, project. He writes, if I understand the process, you should have received a certified mail letter from Agraria, which I don't think we received one, did we? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did. Oh, well, I saw it. Mm -hmm. yeah, we, but we handed it to him. Him, Richard? To Richard. I see. So okay. it was addressed to him, not to us. Oh, okay. From Agrera say that their intention to operate a class two composting facility. I, as zone inspector, received one. Attached is some information about class two composting facilities. Such an operation can be permitted as an agricultural service establishment a conditional use. It probably cannot be permitted as an agricultural activity. Please think about conditions that might be applied to such a request. So, uh, stating their intention, perhaps, but not, but not uh, applying for a conditional use permit at this point. So, it's a warning. I guess. <laughs> shot, shot across the bow, as it were. So, uh, I would suggest that uh, all members of the board review this uh, attached information and and uh, think about conditions that might be applied to such a well, I, now that would go to the board of zoning zoning appeals no. is that? or what am I, that's such time it came up <laughs> My, no, my, my head's going blank. It would go to the, it would go to the BZA, yes. Um, I don't and I, about that. I have on my calendar that there is a zoning commission meeting Tuesday night. Tomorrow night. Uh, which will include a general discussion about, or maybe some specifics, but a discussion about uh, PUD. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to, I'm planning to attend that. Excellent. I'll confirm that it's actually going to happen. And mm -hmm. plan to attend it. Okay. Did you hear anything further about that? Nope. All right, well, I'll look forward to your report of that. Um, we should go down to the list of standing committee reports, because this is the second meeting of each month. Um, FBRP, we had an executive committee and board of directors meeting, and was this year's first to be, as president? <laughs> to be perfectly honest, as the first person, I have no recollection of what happened during either of those meetings, but we did get through them. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, head was in the cloud? Head was somewhere. Uh, there was a TAC committee uh, meeting, I believe. Did you attend uh, that? It's this coming week. Oh, it's this week. Okay. There have most of the ones over the past six months have been canceled, but I have not attended any. Mm -hmm. okay. But I will attend this week. Good. Uh, Green County Regional Planning and Coordinating Commission, both the Executive Committee and the, and the Coordinating Commission, did meet last, uh, last month. We'll be in the process again tomorrow, but last month there was um, there was a request for a rezoning for a small, very small piece of property in um, Spring Valley Township, I believe. Um, and there was uh, a fair amount of budget information. There was also a presentation by um, one of the members of NBRPC about 
where we are in the planning, planning and implementation now. Uh, we're starting the implementation program, part part of the uh, updated county comprehensive plan uh, that MBRPC regional planning um, and the membership uh, are all going to participate in. Um, the uh, the uh, negotiations between MBRPC and RPCC about the price of their services uh, was established at roughly $45,000 and um, <coughs> doesn't include obviously the comp, comp no. They're doing a fair amount of work. Comp it's not complimentary, I'm trying to think, what's the word? Compensatory. Is it compensatory? Mm -hmm. If you're being paid for it. No, they're not being paid. They're, they're being paid for part of it, but they're giving in-kind service uh, as a result of our being a member of our PCC. Complimentary. Pro bono? Anyway, we got to get the idea. <laughs> All right, they're, 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 they're going to do some work. Uh, on, a, on, a, on a less than happy note, in my opinion, uh, the only other employee of regional planning has resigned. And so uh, Jessica, really, yes, is going somewhere else. And now that she has gotten to almost the place where she's a uh, very valuable employee and a very strong addition to our regional planning department, She's leaving, so. We gave her a nice big thing raised, too. She must, she must have done a really good job. I hope she did. I wish she wasn't leaving, but I hope she did a really good job. Anyway, uh, the next one, senior citizen that uh, Mark would have talked about, uh, Clifton Cemetery. I hear you are thinking about a meeting, but didn't have one scheduled. Is that correct? Yes. Of course not. Okay. Economic Sustainability Committee, same thing. Wise Community Development Corporation. Um, reported about the subcommittee meeting here. We did meet the uh, full committee last month. Uh, <coughs> and uh, uh, hopefully within a week or 10 days, I, I've submitted a completed draft 1023 form. That's the IRS uh, 501c3 application. I've submitted that to the legal representatives we have with uh, my comments, with Lisa Abel's comments, with Jamie Lee Cox's comments, so it should be all be able to be filled out and have some nice words put in it by the lawyers and then submit it to the IRS. Okay. Um, any, have you had any census meetings? Um, yes. Last um, my role has been rather passive. The uh, I think I said in one of our earlier meetings that it's significant that each person counted, now I don't have it in front of me, but uh, there are a few thousand dollars per person in federal uh, monies allocated to the county um, through you know, multiple programs. Mm -hmm. so, an accurate count is significant, and the challenges in Green County are counting students, mm -hmm. uh, and most recently, uh, people who have moved because of the tornadoes, mm -hmm. uh, like there are a few hundred in Beaver Creek, uh, who then who still are residing, st kids still go to school in Beaver Creek, even though they're living in Montgomery County or wherever. Uh, what's not on this list is I've been added to the Green County Solid Waste Policy Committee. I think I mentioned Oh, this you did. Before. I knew there was something to add on to this. Um, so it's GCSWPC. GCSWPC. Yes. Oh, very PC. Uh, this quarterly, I forget what by uh, they in? normally quarterly, I'm told, but now they're currently they're monthly. Holy moly! Because uh, supposed to solid waste out there. Both are supposed to submit a a new three year plan by the end of the calendar. What does the P stand for? Policy. Uh, and then so it's basically the county solid waste. Committee. 
uh, district gets money, uh, a few bucks per ton of solid waste uh, that commercial Transporters uh, take take to either a transit station or directly to to the landfill, and that so it's something like eight hundred thousand uh, dollars. But in order to keep getting that, you need to have a, a plan approved by the Ohio EPA. So we're uh, in meeting um, short intervals to finish the plan. To the plan. But where townships come in is because most townships uh, don't have uh, mandated solid waste pickup or contract solid waste pickup. Uh, each household, and I think it's around 1,500 households in uh, our township, maybe as high as 2,000. Anyway, uh, contract with, there's three different choices. Um, but countywide, 11% I think, of households don't have a municipal uh, pickup. Uh, and so, because, partly because the houses are far apart, but also because there are multiple vendors, which means the houses are even further apart. You pay much more for trash pickup. And there's uh, no uh, recycling option uh, that is to be pickup. Mm -hmm. uh, you can take recycling to the Green County Central site. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's possible that this township angle, uh, I represent the townships. Um, it's possible that that's worth pursuing even as pushing, surveying our uh, rural households. Do you want to uh, have a group contract? Uh, and what I'm told is, even if you never sign a contract, if you start talking about uh, putting out for bid, I mean, the townships have the authority mm -hmm. to be a solid waste contractor. Mm -hmm. uh, that just uh, talking about it will lower the prices. Well, so. I'm going to pursue that. <coughs> okay. That's, that's a good idea. Uh, but that's right now <coughs> nothing definitive. It's just in the talking stage. We're now now. It's there. It's still there. I was there the other day. <laughs> it seemed to be fine. That's grassy. Could it use a fall? Could it use a fall for you? It's the only one, but it didn't look too bad. I thought you were supposed to like, it's good to let your grass go. Supposed to leave three fall. inches in the fall, I thought. Yeah, that's why I didn't know anymore. Well, we cut them to a pan. I didn't have to leave, so you could eat it in. I haven't looked at it. Other, not close. Yeah, I haven't, I didn't go around back, but the, the stuff on the front looked fine. Just see it good. Yeah. Although I swear sometimes you can, you can cut grass into December sometimes. Mm -hmm. Um, leaves haven't fallen in. Leaves haven't fallen. Have. Oh, look out there. There's still quite a few in the dream. It's amazing how many are still up. <laughs> yeah, well, they'll just, they just hold on forever. Hang on. I really. Huh. We, we might mow in January if the way the weather's going. <laughs> <laughs> well, <coughs> all right, any, any, any new business? Are you doing? Mm -hmm. yeah. Any yeah. old business? Oh, we got to get some. Well, if there's no other business, we'll next meet December 2nd. Hard to believe. December 2nd. No, it's just summer. Yep. This meeting is being churned.